Thanks, Ashley. Well, cataracts affect millions of people over the age of 40, but blurry vision isn't something you should just learn to live with. Here to talk about treatment options is Dr. Timothy Orion, an ophthalmologist and cataract surgeon with Hartford Healthcare. Doctor, welcome. Thank you for having me. Great to have you. So tell us what a cataract is and who gets them. So cataracts is a clouding of the lens inside your eye. They generally affect older adults, um, although younger people can develop cataracts if they have risk factors such as diabetes, smoking cigarettes, um, or an injury to the eye. Um, the, a lot of what determines um, when you get, start to develop a cataract is your genes and family history. Um, the only treatment for cataracts is surgery. Uh, and the surgery is indicated when the clouding um, gets to the point that it affects your daily activities, such as driving, seeing a computer, uh, reading, or the television. Okay, you have a new lens to treat cataracts. Tell us about that. <laughs> Yes, we. Uh, I actually have a lens uh, called an eye hands. When a cataract's removed, we always put in a lens implant that replaces the cloudy lens. Um, and this acts like built-in glasses to correct your prescription also. Um, so the eye hands um, is, is really nifty in that it corrects your vision uh, for uh, distance, uh, which is common in most of the lens implants. But uh, what makes this different is it also corrects your vision for what we call intermediate. Um, so activities such as cooking, seeing a computer, seeing an iPad, which a lot of people are doing a lot of these days. Um, and this reduces the need for glasses for those sorts of activities. What additionally makes this lens really game-changing is that there are other lenses that can correct you for distance and computer intermediate. But they have downsides, such as causing rings around lights at night or halos um, or requiring um, extra light to be able to read without glasses. The eye hands doesn't have uh, these downsides. So it's, um, I think, really going to help a lot of my patients and be game changing. In addition, um, those older type lenses, um, you can't um, implant. I can't put in a patient's eye if they have other eye conditions such as glaucoma or macular degeneration. But this lens uh, is able to be implanted in those patients, which is, which is wonderful. Sounds like a game changer. So who's a candidate for this new lens? Well, again, because um, we can implant it in patients with other eye conditions, it, it really is anybody that's a candidate for cataract surgery um, can um, get these lenses. There, there is a version of the lens that also corrects astigmatism, um, which does cost extra. So there is some cost involved, but generally, um, they, you know, the surgery is covered by insurance. And if you're a candidate for cataract surgery, the, this new lens is an option for you. All right, real quick last question. What's the procedure sure. like? What's the recovery like? So cataract surgery is a highly su successful, um, very easy surgery to go through. Um, the surgery in most cases takes around 15 minutes. Um, the recovery time, uh, most people start to see improvement in their vision within a matter of weeks. Um, some people, as soon as the next day, the, the procedure is painless. Um, you do need to take drops for about a month to have your eye heal in most cases. Um, and take it easy for the first week, avoiding lifting, uh, bending, um, or, you know, or any kind of strain. Um, but I allow my patients to go back to most of their activities, including driving, as soon as the next day if they're comfortable. Wow. So. All right. Dr. Timothy Orion, cataract surgeon at Hartford Healthcare. Thanks for for joining us. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too.